CCTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. Thank you for being here. We begin tonight in Campbell River, where business owners uh, in the neighborhood say there's a vandal destroying their community, and at least one of them fears that an organized gang may be working in the area. The graffiti is rampant. Public art is being destroyed, and it seems as soon as somebody cleans the mess up, it comes right back. CTV's Gord Kerbis has more. An RCMP officer investigates a complaint of vandalism along the waterfront at Willow Point. Someone has tipped over carvings displayed by the Campbell River Shoreline Art Society. It's seen as a senseless attack, just like what's been going on across the street on the walls of this commercial building. This is all brand new. Um, it was all painted out a couple weeks ago, but it's, it's happened uh, five times in the last two months. Orla Jensen has owned the Sunrise Square building for 35 years, and he's seen it attack before, but now the graffiti is coming non-stop. I'd like to see them and their parents down here to clean it up. I think it uh, would be a good lesson. Um, I mean, you, I'm sure they're juveniles and all this, but I think that uh, something like that, they have, they, have to, they have to be shown that that's not the thing to do. The vandals also appear to have little respect for historical buildings. The Willow Point Community Hall is operated by the local Lions Club. The club's president says within a day of painting over the graffiti, vandals will be right back at it. We just got uh, heritage on our, on our hall, so we want to start fixing it up and redoing it. Then if it's going to be covered in graffiti all the time, it's kind of a waste of time. Graffiti in the area has included signatures, artwork, and even an ominous threat I want to kill you. It kind of makes the hair stand up in the back of your neck. You know, what, what are these kids up to or what are they turning into? You know, it's just, I don't know what kind of a kid would write something like that. Another local merchant believes the people responsible are teenagers. There's a lot of people that say it's like the Willow Point gang. There's a bunch of the kids that come around and they hang out down by the 7-Eleven and they, uh, they do their thing at night. David Kirstein believes parents keeping a closer eye on their kids and merchants watching out for each other is part of the solution. It's frustrating and I feel bad for a lot of the people that get affected by it, but I think if we all group together and just go, let's get it right, you know, and stop it. While some are committed to keep on covering up the graffiti, others have given up. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Willow Point.